looks like I'm sawing your head. Hey, what a brick wall. So much happened this week. I'm not even going to bother giving you a recap. What did we put up at the web store? Oh, you're, oh, you're <laughs> mouthing it. <everything. laughs> The custom design that has gone up in the web store this week is from David Slater. It is the Ultimate Collector Series DeLorean Time Machine. It's absolutely amazing. It's got some incredible details. The angular shape of the DeLorean itself is unmatched, I think, in any other form of Lego bricks. And there are plenty of functions and details to get lost in. If you do want to build the instructions, you can find them at our web store, www.brickfault.toys. And there's a lot of stuff to get through for this week, so I'm going to be going kind of quickly. Probably the biggest story of the week is that LEGO has announced not necessarily an Ultimate Collector Series set. They didn't officially give it that title, but it is the Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage set. It's got a massive brick-built dinosaur. Looks really cool. There's actually a lot of information about it. We made our own video about it earlier this week. I'm just going to link back to that, but very quickly, it's got six minifigs, most of which are exclusive. It's going to sell for $250 US dollars, and it's over 3,000 pieces. LEGO also released the designer video for this set, so if you want to learn how this uh, giant T-Rex came to life. Um, yeah, that video is also linked in the description along with our original announcement. Now, along with the release of this set, the information for it, LEGO Ideas has also kicked off another building contest that kind of goes hand in hand with this. The theme of the building contest is to build a genetically modified hybrid dinosaur, and the grand prize winner gets all of these sets, which is pretty awesome. The deadline to submit is July 17th. Everything I talk about, by the way, is in the description below so if you do want to submit uh, to the ideas contest it's also linked in the description below if you want to learn more about it now this is a pretty good segue we're still in ideas and two sets got voted in for 10,000 votes of support this week they've both been uh, entries for uh, quite some time now and neither of these come as a surprise to me they're both amazing sets the first one is pursuit of flight this is another build from Jason aka JK brickworks he's got two other Lego idea sets under his belt right now that have actually turned into official sets and pursuit of flight is an amazing little creation the mechanism is very small it's elegantly hidden underneath a wonderful little base there and just like jason's maze and pop-up book the idea is you can build this but also modify it and change the theme of the of the little creation so congrats once again to jk brickworks i hope this gets uh, turned into an official lego set and then the second model to get 10,000 votes of support is the history museum it looks like a modular like something that would fit in with the creator modular uh line i like it that it's very tall i know a lot of people have been sort of complaining about corner pieces but no one can deny that this is a wonderful creation i do remember endorsing this myself at some point putting it at the end of a news video being like hey you should vote for this if you want to the designer is bricky brick and i'm kind of curious does this count as a set that lego might not accept based on the type of theme of model because this is something that could fit into the creator modular line does that mean automatically they're going to reject something like this and it wouldn't make sense for them to approve this okay i'm spending too much time uh talking about these two sets that got approved let's move on lego has published another one of their catalogs which reveal a few more new sets that are going to be coming down the line later this year i initially found this information at alatran at brickfan.com and i'm going to be going through this in the order in which he posted the pictures so starting off with disney no surprise here there's going to be a new Elsa's Ice Castle or Magical Ice Palace uh, and that's probably going to coincide with Frozen 2. There's also some Duplo stuff I'm skipping that. Then we get pictures for three new Minecraft sets which is pretty awesome. The Creeper Mine set has a blacksmith minifig as well as a husk and we also get more wither skeletons from the Blaze Bridge set which is cool and the wool farm has dyed sheep so uh, I feel like that was definitely coming down the line at some point. Then Technic has an interesting one there's a car trans transport set. I don't really know how much that would grab me as a Technic person, but then again, the compact crawler crane, which is also new, looks pretty awesome with the three stabilizing or possibly four stabilizing legs. There's another picture of the extreme off-roader that we saw some picks for last week. There's one other little production photo that's got some new motors in there. And then holy guacamole, there's also a better picture for the excavator, that massive, massive excavator. I'm trying to 
go quick, so let's move on down the line to LEGO Movie 2. There are three new sets. Looks like just about all the minifigs included here are, most of them are gonna be exclusive to them. The Sistar Party Crew is by far my favorite, but then again, the Sparkle Babies look pretty darn good too. So lots of good figs for these three new sets. And then Speed Champions has a 1974 Porsche 911. Feels like it comes a little bit out of the blue, but it's a warm welcome set. It's a classic sports car. And the build for it looks decent. Nothing that blows me away, but certainly a decent looking build for a Porsche. Very recognizable. Alrighty, we're moving away from the physical realm of Lego and into the digital. Lots of video game news this week, mostly having to do with the Skywalker saga and a lot of news coming from E3. First of all, Lego has announced an official press release. I'm going to link it in the description below. I can't get through all of it right now. It's going to be released sometime in 2020 and will be available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Being called the Skywalker Saga, it will go through all nine films. Yes, including uh, the last one. By the time this video game is released, the last Star Wars film will have already uh, been out. And the screenshots look pretty darn good. Honestly, the lighting effects and, well, general graphics look better than just about any LEGO video game that has ever existed. And they really got to stop showing off that Bantha fig because we don't have it in real life and it's just why do they keep bringing it back in the digital world I just we need that in real life or just don't show it off at all and then I don't know uh, how this happened or I don't know I didn't realize that the Lego Star Wars games were so popular amongst all of the other more serious or hardcore gamers out there but Lego Star Wars the Skywalker Saga won best of E3 for 2019 that's one of the awards they give out I don't exactly know what that means but pretty cool I think definitely means people are hyped for it and uh, understandably so. Also, I forgot to mention earlier, but there was uh, a little bit of a mention that the worlds are going to be procedurally generated, or at least that's a rumor. So that's going to be a new thing, and procedurally generated Star Wars worlds in general just sounds like a good idea to me. Also announced at E3 is the Forza Horizon 4 is going to have a LEGO expansion, and I think uh, Speed Champions is also going to team up and make some expansion packs for that as well. They'll probably end up as physical sets but right now there's actually going to be a pretty cool looking lego uh, racing game or at least expansion to a racing game with a lego skin i'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out the trailer looks pretty good though and personally i think it's a good idea that lego is expanding its reach with popular and good video games just making something that's fun for people to play is pretty much all of the battle and if they can integrate that with lego products then good for them so hopefully uh, people will enjoy this uh, lego speed champions expansion expansion for Forza Horizon 4 and still within the gaming Lego digital world at Bricks World Chicago they are demoing the Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed mobile game. I still don't know a whole lot about that. It's an RPG using Lego minifigs which they say is the first of this kind of genre though it seems pretty similar to other ones that have been out and personally I just hope it's fun. As long as they're making fun games and people like to play them then good on you Lego. All right there's a lot of little stories that I'm gonna slingshot past you right here at the end. Newsweek has launched a new Lego Special Edition magazine. It's called Celebrating the World's Favorite Toy. The cover looks pretty good, and you can purchase it online or in stores. The exclusive Stranger Things building event is officially scheduled for June 25th. Must be 15 or older to participate, and you get to build the little castle buyers. That's uh, his little fort that he hides out in, and it doesn't look like the upside-down version of it, but the one that's in the regular side of the world. Also this week, a little print of some Lego Endgame art uh, was revealed. It's a little poster that you can get with the purchase of $35 or more of Marvel products. That promotion is live right now and it's going to last until the 16th or tomorrow uh, as of the release of this video or until supplies run out. Personally, I think it's okay as long as it's not a folded up poster. I'm happy with uh, whatever quality you get. Also, the Dragon Boat Race set is now available. This is what everybody wanted. They were all complaining that they weren't going to be able to get this because they were only released in China. So now that you can get it, uh, uh, you should get it. I think it looks cool, and you certainly do get a ton of mini figs. And now I know you guys are going to be wondering why I saved this to the very end of the news, but there is a pretty strong rumor about the final price tag of the Star Wars UCS set coming down the line at the end of the year. It's going to be $69. Oh, wait a second. Add a 9 to the end of that. It's going to be $699. The common rumor is that it's going to be a uh, Star Destroyer of some kind, but we don't actually know. And holy guacamole, 
Normally, that is pretty darn big, but hey, guess what? The Millennium Falcon was 799 so, you know, technically it's cheaper than the UCS Falcon. But anyways, you know it's gonna be big. Hopefully it's awesome. And now back to me in the lab. Hey everybody, wanted to pop in very quickly, let you know that we've got a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell these step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome Lego mocks. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that build these amazing Lego designs. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Check us out at www.brickvault.toys, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.